Magandang buhay po at welcome sa aking channel. Ngayon naman po ang aking pong ipapaliwanag ay How to Solve Quadratic Inequality. So magbibigay po ako ng example kagaya po nito. What is the solution set of x squared plus 4x is greater than 21? So tuturo ko po sa inyo kung paano po kunin yung kanyang solution set step by step. Okay, so solving quadratic inequality. So, find the solution set of x squared plus 4x is greater than 21. So, paano nga ba kunin yung solution set ng quadratic inequality? So, there are three ways. Ang una ko pong ituturo ay yung three test points. So, paano po ba gawin ang three test points para makuha po yung solution set ng quadratic inequality? Ganito lang po yun. Ito po yung ating given na inequality, x squared plus 4x is greater than 21. So, una po, gawin po natin yan na standard form. So, para maging standard form yan, ililipat po natin yung 21 sa left side. Ano po? So, this become x squared plus 4x. Since positive 21, pag nilipat, magiging negative 21 is greater than 0. Okay, standard form na po siya. So, pag nakuha na po yung standard form ng quadratic inequality, gawin po natin siyang equation. Bakit? Paano po? <coughs> gawin po natin equal to 0. So, x squared plus 4x is minus 21 equal to 0. And then, isolve po natin yung kanyang roots. So, ano po yung roots ng x squared plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0? So, gamit po tayo ng any method. Pwedeng factoring, pwedeng completing the square, pwedeng... Uh, quadratic formula. So, ang gagawin ko po dito ay factoring. So, ano po yung factor ng x squared plus 4x minus 21? So, factorable po siya. Ang kanya pong factors ay x plus 7 and x minus 3. So, is equal to 0. So, paano po nakuha yan? So, kung napanood po ninyo yung aking video about factoring polynomials, ay madali lang po ang mag-factor. Ano po? So, tama po ba na x plus 7, x minus 3 ang kanyang factors? So, check po natin. So, multiply lang po natin yung nasa right, yung second term ng binomial. 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. And then you are going to subtract. 7 minus 3 is 4. So, tama po yung middle term natin na 4x. Okay, so, ang root po ng or value ng x po ng first factor, x plus 7, is x is equal to negative 7. At yung pangalawang factor, ang kanyang value ng x ay x is equal to 3. So, mula po dito sa dalawang value na ito, ito po yung roots, gagamitin po natin yung three test points. So, x is equal to negative 7, and x is equal to 3. Okay, so, i-represent ko po sa inyo sa number line para maintindihan po ninyo. Okay, so ito po yung ating number line. Hanapin po natin yung unang value ng x, negative 7, ito po siya. At yung pangalawang value ng x ay 3. So, yan po siya, positive 3. Okay, so kaya po tatlong test points or three test points, hahatiin po natin yung number line into three portion or three parts. Okay, so <clears throat> mula po sa negative 7, papunta po sa left. Ano po? Pababa po yan kasi negative hanggang negative infinity. Kaya, dyan po, ito po yung unang test point natin. X is less than negative 7. Ano po, pababa po yung number. Negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, and so on. Ano po. And then, another one ay yung, ito naman po. Mula naman po yung, mula naman po sa 3, papunta po sa malaking number or going to the right. So, x is greater than 3. Ano po? So, ano po yung x greater than 3? 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Until infinity. Ano po? Yan po yung pangalawang test point natin. At yung pangatlo po, ay ito po yung nasa gitna. So, mula po sa negative 7 hanggang 3. Pero hindi po kasama yung negative 7 at 3 kasi ang ating pong inequality symbol ay is less than. So, mula po sa negative 6 hanggang 2. So, ito po yung tatlo na test point natin. Okay, so kaya po sinabing three test points, ito na po yung tatlong test point natin. Okay, so magte-test po tayo ng point. So, mula po sa ating number line, kukuha po tayo ng point na itetest po natin sa tatlong uh, 
test points natin na yan. Ano po? So, ang una po ay ito, x is less than 7, sabi po natin kanina, from negative 7, pero is less than, so hindi kasama yung negative 7, going to the left, or going to negative infinity. Ano po? So, ano po yung point na itetest po natin? Mamili po tayo ng isa, mula negative 8 hanggang negative million. So, ang pipiliin ko po, syempre, yung maliit na number. So, pipiliin ko po dito ay negative 8. Okay, yan po yung one test point natin. Okay? Pangalawang part na test points natin ay x is greater than 3. So, ito po yun. So, mula 3 going to the right. Pero hindi po kasama yung 3 kasi is greater than 3. Okay, so ang pipiliin ko po dito, natural yung maliit na number, pinakamaliit ay 4. Okay. So, yan po yung pangalawang test point natin. At yung pangatlo ay kukuha po tayo dito sa gitna. So, mula negative 7 hanggang 3. Pero hindi po kasama yung negative 7 at 3 kasi is less than po yan. Ano po? So, ang pipiliin ko po dito yung pinakamadaling number. Pwede pong 1 dyan at pwedeng 0. So, ang pipiliin ko po dito ay 0. Mas madali po yan na i-test. Ano po? Okay. So, ito na po yung 3 test point natin. Sa substitute, substitute po natin sa ating original inequality. Okay. So, sa x is x is less than negative 7, negative 8 ang napili natin. Sa second test point, so negative 7 is less than x, is less than 3, o yung from negative 6 to 3, ang napili po natin ay 0. At yung pangatlo po, x is greater than 3, ang napili po natin ay 4. Okay, so yan po yung ating itetest sa ating pong original inequality. Okay, so itest po natin yung una, negative 8. So, itetest po natin sa original inequality po natin, x squared plus 4x is greater than 21. Okay? So, lahat po ng x ay pagtan po natin ng negative 8. Ano po? So, negative 8 is square kasi x squared po yan. So, yung x po ay negative 8 kaya negative 8 is square. Then, plus 4 times negative 8. Ibig sabihin ng 4x ay 4 times x. So, 4 times, ang x ay negative 8, kaya 4 times negative 8 is greater than 21. And then, isimplify po natin. Tingnan po natin kung true or false, kasi itetest nga po natin. Okay? So, yung negative 8 is square ay positive 64 plus 4 times negative 8 is negative 32 is greater than 21. And then, what is 64 plus negative 32? So, yung positive at negative or plus minus magiging minus po ang operation yan. So, magiging 64 minus 32 is 32 is greater than 21. Is it true na yung 32 is greater than 21? Yes, that's true. So, true po yan, kaya ang negative 8 po natin ay t or true. Okay? So, itest po natin yung pangalawang point natin, 0. So, for 0. So, substitute ulit natin sa original inequality. So, lagyan po natin ng 0 lahat ng x. So, x squared yon kaya 0 squared plus 4x kaya 4 times 0 is greater than 21. Then, simplify po natin. 0 squared is 0 plus 4 times 0 is 0 is greater than 21. What is 0 plus 0? 0 is greater than 21. Is 0 greater than 21? This is false. So, yung 0 po ay f or False. Okay? Okay, so 4x is equal to 4. So, yung pangatlong test point natin. Again, substitute po natin sa ating inequality. So, x squared. So, 4x squared plus 4 times x is 4 times. Ang x ay 4, kaya 4 times 4 is greater than 21. So, what is 4 squared? 16. Then, plus, what is 4 times 4? 16 is greater than 21. Then, add natin. 16 plus 16 is 32. Is 32 greater than 21? Yes, it's true. So, yung 4 po natin, yung pangatlong test point po natin na 4 ay true. Okay, so after po natin i-test yung 3 test points po natin na negative 8, 0, and 4, i-test po din po natin yung basis po natin kanina na negative 7 at 3. So, it, ito po ang purpose po nito ay para makuha po natin yung symbol ng inequality na gagamitin po natin sa 
makukuha po nating solution set mamaya. Okay, test po natin yung una, negative 7. So, again, substitute po natin, x ay negative 7, kaya negative 7 square plus 4 times x, x ay negative 7, kaya 4 times negative 7 is greater than 21. Okay, simplify po natin, negative 7 square is 49 plus 4 times negative 7 ay negative 28 is greater than 21. So, what is 49 plus negative 28? Magiging minus lang po yan. So, 49 minus 28 ay 21 is greater than 21. Okay? So, is 21 greater than 21? No? That is false. 21 is equal to 21. Para true. Ano po? Okay, false po yung negative 7. How about negative or positive 3? Okay, subject po ulit natin. So, 3 square plus... 4x kaya 4 times 3 is greater than 21. So, simplify. 3 square is 9 plus 4 times 3 is 12 is greater than 21. So, what is 9 plus 12? 21 is greater than 21. So, again, is 21 greater than 21? That is false. So, yung negative 7, 5 false. At yung positive 3 po ay false. Meaning to say, ang gagamitin po natin na inequality symbol ay is Less than only. Ano po? So, kung naging true po sana, yung negative 7 at positive 3 is less than or equal to ang gagamitin natin na inequality symbol. Okay, so since sa test na po natin lahat, balik po tayo sa ating number line. So, mag-derive na po tayo ng solution set ng inequality, x squared plus 4x is greater than 21. So, paano po mag-derive ng solution set? So, gawa po tayo ng braces. Okay? So, x tutuldok. Ibig sabihin niyan, x such that. So, ilalagay po natin dyan ano yung solution. Ibig sabihin, ano yung naging true. So, ang true po dyan ay ito po. Okay? So, x is less than negative 7. Ito po yung true natin. Ano po? So, yung unang part. So, x is less than negative 7. So, kaya po natin itinest yung negative 7 kanina, since false, so, hindi po kasama yung negative 7, kaya is less than negative 7. Pero pag nag po yung negative 7, yan po ay x is less than or equal to negative 7. Ano po? Sana. Okay. And then, ang naging true po ay ito, x is greater than 3. So, ibig sabihin, isang solution po niya ay x is greater than 3. So, again, nag-false po yung 3, kaya is less than yung ating symbol. Ano po? Pero pag nag po yung 3, is, less, is greater than or equal to sana. Ano po? So, yan lang po yung nag Kaya, yan lang po. Ayan. Ito po ay false. So, ibig sabihin, hindi po ito solution ng given na inequality. So, ito lang pong dalawa. Ang nag x is less than negative 7, and x is greater than 3. So, ito po yung kanyang Solution set. Okay, so salamat po sa inyong panood. Kung meron po kayong katanungan, comment lang po ninyo sa comment box at hintayin po ninyo yung aking reply. So, wag lang pong kalimutan na i-like at i-subscribe upang sa ganun kapag ako po ay nag-reply, manotify po kayo sa aking reply.